CNBC exclusive interview, Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun, along with our Phil LeBeau. Phil? Thank you, Kelly. Dave? I think the main question a lot of people have, in addition to what the status of uh, the MAX 9 is, what was your reaction when you saw the Alaska Airlines blowout and the video Friday night? Um, devastated, emotional. Um, I saw the picture, everybody saw the opening, but what I really saw was the empty seat. And I had spent a week with my kids and grandkids and uh, so, enough said. I, I imagine every human being who would see that um, understands the severity and the consequence. So, um, immediately, uh, you get to work. It's what you have to do. I, I want to just uh, take my hat off and our company's hat off to the Alaska Air team, specifically the crew that trained most of their lives to handle that moment, hoping they never will, but they did. And the crew alongside the pilots handled it as well as it can be handled. Um, the plane landed safely and there are no fatalities. And then the leadership team did exactly what it needed to do. It grounded the airplanes, the FAA immediately grounded the airplanes, and the Boeing team supported every step of that process. And, uh, and now we're in a moment where we have nobody at risk and our job is to understand literally everything that has happened, everything that surrounds that particular fuselage plug, and, uh, and fix it and make sure it can never happen again. What do you think happened? Um, well, what happened is exactly what you saw. A fuselage plug blew out. That's the mistake. It can never happen. We're not allowed that to sure. happen. And I'm not about to speculate, but I will say this. The, the, the work that our regulator, in this case the FAA, has been doing uh, to inspect the situation and create a procedure and a protocol for the airlines to go out and inspect each and every one of the airplanes, 100 percent of them, and make sure, certain they're in uh, conformance with our design, which is a proven design. Um, I'm confident that that process will not only uh, prevent accident, but maybe more importantly, the data we collect from each and every one of those inspections, the data we collect, will inform all of the actions that we have to take as a company. Your people were with the Alaska engineers teams when they took off some of their panels yes. and they started doing some inspections. Yes. Tell me what happened when you got the phone call as soon as they took off the panel and they said, we've got some loose bolts here. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I have an engineer who is a awesome engineer who worked right alongside of the Alaskan Air. They inspected those first few. I asked him to call me the second he was done. And yes, he used that term loose bolt. Now remember, a loose bolt in, a, in an aviation application is a bolt that's under torqued or a gap that you can see that is uh, measured in millimeters, not centimeters. It's, uh, nevertheless, it has the same implications. So um, yeah, I understood that from the first moment. So you're not surprised to hear other reports from United as well as Alaska doing further inspections? No, well, I'm, I'm, I'm always surprised at anything that doesn't conform perfectly. On the other hand, it's a fact, and that's what's going on. And I want to know all those facts, and our team wants to know them all. And we, we're going to want to know what broke down in our gauntlet of inspections, what broke down in the original work that allowed for that escape to happen.